Hello and welcome to this video presentation on DevOps. In this video, you are going to know about what DevOps is and why DevOps is gaining popularity in the present era. Because uh, if you find the latest technologies which are trending, DevOps will stand in a, one of the top position. So uh, let's see what DevOps is. DevOps, uh, DevOps is not a single term actually. It is a combination of development and operations team. See, consider development and operations team. What, uh, like, what a development side is like, but they will code like. Uh, they have mainly uh, three phases. Like, they will code, and they have some building team also. So they code as well as they build. Build team in generally, it checks for modules and it build the model. Like right? code in the sense. Or we are creating a code for the uh, particular project or particular problem statement or building team will build the project where the final stage is testing team so testing team will verify uh, like they will validate and they will verify based on the phases like uh, this is how development team uh, the phases in development team will consist of while coming to operations what they do is they deploy your apps like uh, they will deploy the entire project and um, they will take care of security and network like they will maintain the servers right uh, they have in every institute there must be a uh, operations team like they will maintain network and the security of an enterprise and they will also maintain like they will also maintain for further improvements of future extractions uh, they will take care of entire things so why do we need uh, why do we need to integrate development team and operations team is that um, consider uh, problems in a development side like um, consider the problems in the development side right uh, what the what the in general phase what the development team uh, will take care is that they will code and they will give to a build team and they will verify if uh, if it is right like if it is right it will be it will be given to testing team so if there are any errors again it, this procedure will come back to coding team and this will be a cyclic process and this will stop only when the coding and building is right and testing verifies that the code is in the right place so this is the only thing in which development phase can be stopped so if again in this phase like it will take months or um, might be might be weeks or months so in between if the requirements or specifications will be changed like if a uh, manager or the customer wants some other extra features then entire will be repeated and so it can extends to some months so that is the reason uh, there is a model called agile development model uh, which is very popular in software development phase So what again development takes place is that instead of uh, doing entire code at the once or entire building at the once, they divide the thing into like they can divide into modules like this code can be divided into some different modules. So instead of doing entire thing, uh, entire build at a time or entire testing at a time, uh, they can go with modules like uh, uh, code can be created with different modules. So each module is tested once and each module is built once and each module is tested once in this phase um, um, they can make some difference but here also uh, there will be number of iterations so number of iterations should be more so this is the problem with agile development as well as traditional development so look at operations team or uh, what are the problems in operations team like uh, deployment like they can deploy the projects after coming to development so if entire thing is over the development team can give their work to operations team so operations team what they can do is they can deploy and they can maintain the security uh, like uh, security and network and maintain the future updations of a project see uh, if there are uh, two servers if there are two servers so it can be easy right if there are minimum servers um, then it should be easy for them to handle like what the main intention of operations team is that to maintain the uptime so to maintain the uptime so uptime should always be high for them so if the uptime is high then uh, that that means that uh, they are doing good if uptime is not good or if uptime is not high that means that uh, they are lack of uh, doing tasks so 
what they need is that they they should maintain the uptime they should maintain the uptime every time so if there are a few servers like if there are two servers it is easy for them to handle but they don't know how the things are going in the development side so uh, they don't know how the things are going in development so if the projects if the may uh, project like if the number of projects are more by day to day so they have to maintain some extra servers so this server count should be increased so in order to maintain different servers uh, like um, they they may face some difficulties because they are of uh, not of regular intentional mode because um, they have some rules uh, in, instead development team should focus on what should they develop so they should be always with um, the mindset that they should develop any kind of technology they should code any kind of uh, any kind of problems but development team they don't have to think of a uh, specific thing because they have some rules they have some rule books so simply they can follow the rules simply they can follow the rules and tradition so that they can operate if the more um, more servers are increasing day by day then the uptime should be um, like the uptime should be decreased eventually so so under these circumstances they too have to face the problems because they don't know what how the specifications will change like uh, the maintenance like uh, if some if after one to two months if the customer wants like uh, they, they want some updations then the operations team will request to the developers team that uh, we need some modifications in the code so again the same process repeats and again it can be given to operations they can deploy and they can maintain again so instead of lack of communication between development team and operations team there are many problems to face uh, so that the develop uh, the devops is integration devops is nothing but an integration of development and operations team it means that they too can work together like development team and operations team there is no bridge between them and they can too act and work together so that they know like development team know or there are uh, how many services there in the operations team side so they can work accordingly to that in operations team know what are the problems facing in the development side is it good or bad to uh, like uh, to request changes frequently so they too have a cooperation mutual cooperation and mutual understandings so that they, they too can work together to again implement like if the project is going to take uh, two months or three months to complete if dev one ops integrated they may complete in one month of one month span of time so this is the advantage of develop, devops team nowadays every uh, every software industry or every software community is going to opt for devops team because um, they can reduce their work they can save their time so they can uh, they can improve their uptime they can make their uptime always high so that many companies already many software industries are looking for devops employees and there are many tools like kubernetes going to like um, wrap down in uh, devops so mainly this is the thing uh, which uh, if you are in confusion what meant by devops um, maybe you uh, you may be clear about this presentation right so devops is nothing but an integration of development and operations in any software industry if you are in a software industry you might be easily understand what the development team and all the operations team is even in any organization there will be operations team and there will be develop, uh, development team so if we integrate both we can reduce the work time and we can reduce the cost and we can implement more projects and gain profits in the industry so this is the uh, this is the reason why uh, devops is gaining into such popularity so in future devops may be the uh, devops may be the alternative for many software industry because almost uh, many of the companies are shifting to devops instead of going with uh, individual modules like development and ops they are combining they are integrating devops ops to form a devops team so um, this is about devops thank you for watching.